Just over a month into the new year, and there are two new COVID-19 vaccines available in the U.S., Pfizer's and Moderna's, but soon the FDA could approve a vaccine from Johnson & Johnson. It's a one-dose vaccine that can make a huge difference in the fight against COVID-19. And new tonight at 5, Channel 11's Aaron Martin is finding other ways this new vaccine could change the pandemic. There are a few things that make the COVID-19 vaccine from Johnson & Johnson a little bit different than what's already out there, including how it's stored. It only requires normal refrigeration, something that could mean supply of the vaccine could go up rapidly. However, there is some skepticism that remains. Like drugstores, Giant Eagle, and they all say they don't have anything. My doctor doesn't have it. Um, I'm going to be 72 in two weeks. I have a heart problem. And I, I can't get the shot. Judy Byers can't find a COVID-19 vaccine. She's looking for herself and those closest to her, her husband and diabetic grandson. Pennsylvania is only receiving around 175,000 first doses per week from the federal government, but there's hope that number will jump if Johnson & Johnson gets emergency use authorization from the FDA. In the information that the manufacturer has given us about this vaccine, it's been 100% successful at preventing people from um, serious complications like hospitalization and death. That's fantastic. Since the Johnson & Johnson vaccine only requires one dose, that's expected to help more people get vaccinated quicker. But UPMC Infection Prevention Medical Director Dr. Graham Snyder says the vaccine only requiring a standard refrigeration is what sets it apart, meaning people in underserved communities could have more access to the shot. If the vaccine is easier to store, that changes that dynamic a lot because you can get vaccine uh, to those areas that may not have uh, the medical infrastructure to store vaccine and make it more readily available. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. The FDA advisory panel will make a recommendation on Johnson & Johnson's vaccine application at the end of the month. Byers remains skeptical in the vaccine supply, but says the news makes her hopeful she'll find it for her and her family. I'm very hopeful. I mean, not just for him and myself, for so many people that I've talked to, but I'm getting to the point where I'm like, we'll see. I just can't trust anything anymore, you know. Now, UPMC says at the moment it's focusing its vaccination efforts on medical workers and those in long-term care facilities. Snyder says that's not expected to change until the supply of the vaccine increases. Reporting tonight in Pittsburgh, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.